Welcome to Introductory Statistics using SPSS Second Edition. This video shows how to process the paired t test. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. Whereas the t test is used in a two group design to determine if one group statistically significantly outperformed the other, the paired t-test is used when there's only one group. In a one-group design, we can administer a pretest to establish a baseline score for each participant, then carry out the treatment, and finally, we'd administer a post-test to each participant using the same instrument that was used in the pretest. The paired t-test will assess the pretest and post-test score of each participant to compute the means and the p-values. In this example, the researcher takes the pulse of each participant before and after administering 30 minutes of PET therapy to determine if the treatment reduces the pulse rates. If the p-value is less than or equal to 0.05, this would indicate that a statistically significant difference has been detected between the pretest and the post-test, suggesting that the treatment was effective. A p-value that's greater than 0.05 would indicate that there's no statistically significant difference between the pretest and the post-test, suggesting that the treatment was ineffective. The paired t-test has one pretest criteria, normality of differences, which we'll check for prior to running the paired t-test. This example uses the data set CH07 Example 01 Paired t test and Wilcoxon test.sav. This dataset contains three variables. Name is a string variable that contains the name of each participant. Pretest is a continuous variable containing each participant's resting pulse rate prior to treatment. And posttest is a continuous variable containing the pulse rate after the treatment. Before running a paired t-test, we need to check that the differences between the pretest scores and the post-test scores are normally distributed. This is a two-step process. First, we'll have SPSS generate a variable that represents the difference between the post-test and pretest score for each case. Then, we'll order a histogram with normal curve on that variable to assess it for normality. We'll have SPSS calculate a new variable, which we'll call diff. This will contain the difference between the post-test score and the pretest score for each participant. Click on Transform, Compute Variable. In the target variable, enter the new variable name, diff. In numeric expression, enter post-test minus pretest, and click OK. Now, order a histogram with normal curve for diff. Click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Move diff to Variables and click Charts. Select Histogram with normal curve. Click Continue. Click OK and it'll process. The symmetrical curve on the histogram shows a normal distribution for diff. Hence, this criterion is satisfied. To run a paired t-test, click on Analyze, Compare Means, Paired Samples t-test. Move pretest into variable 1 and post-test into variable 2. Click OK and it'll process. The Paired Sample Statistics table shows a mean pulse rate of 88.31 for pretest and 86.56 for post-test. The paired samples test table shows a p-value of 0.011. Since this is less than 0.05, this suggests that there is a statistically significant difference between the pretest and the post-test scores. This concludes this video.